and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I painted these jungle birds in my tiny little sketchbook from Arteza. It's a great little pocket sketchbook and I love the paper quality for watercolors and gouache. As usual, I will leave all the links down below if you want to buy any of these supplies that you see in the video today. When April First you'll need a sketchbook, a palette to mix your paints, watercolor or gouache paint, a paintbrush, today I'll be using a Princeton snap brush, and some water. First, starting out by mapping out some of the birds across the composition. I'm starting out with a pink color. I'm not really painting any specific type of bird because I prefer to kind of keep things very loose in my sketchbook. I'm not trying to be too accurate or represent a specific type of bird. I'm just sort of playing around and enjoying it. So here I am just kind of mapping out the birds and spreading them out across the composition. Just doing the same thing and adding some smaller little bluebirds across the composition. adding a little bit of contrast to my birds by using a darker version of the same color. So here I'm using a sort of peachy red color to add a bit of dimension to the feathers on those pink birds. And then I'm just going to do the same thing on the bluebirds with a dark blue color. Going in and adding a little bit more detail to the birds by adding some more red to the feathers and then I'm using a dark purple to add the beaks to the birds and some darker tones to the blue birds as well as the eyes. And now I'm just going to start adding some botanicals so I'm adding some windmill palms around here just by doing some quick brush strokes. And then I'm going in with a second layer of a darker green to add a bit more depth and dimension to those windmill palms. I always find adding at least two layers really helps make the images kind of pop off the page a little bit more. I'm just starting to add some tree branches. I'm trying to add them strategically where those birds would be sitting on them. So some of the birds are flying and wouldn't really be sitting on the branches, but some of them don't have their wings spread out. So they would be sort of leaning on those branches. And I'm just thinking about that as I'm painting them out. And then once again, I'm just gonna go in with a darker brown and add a bit of dimension to those branches. Now I'm 
just going to go in and add some lighter colored leaves throughout the composition that would be kind of hanging off of these tree branches that I just painted. Again, these are very loose. I'm really not overthinking where they might be. I'm just going with the flow and you'll find that the more you're painting throughout this composition, the easier it'll be to just kind of add things as you go and let your creativity sort of take over. So again here I'm just adding some darker leaves to add a bit of contrast and a little bit of depth to the composition and kind of get the viewer's eye moving throughout. And then now I'm adding in some little flowers. I decided to paint in some small um, lilies and these will be spread out throughout the composition as well to add a bit of pop of color. <laughs> So here I'm going in and adding just some different types of leaves again. These ones will be sort of like tropical uh, palm leaves and you can see how spreading out the different types of leaves throughout the composition really helps kind of tie it all together. You have all these different sort of tones of colors from a normal sort of green to a pale green and then a blue green and having them spread out in this way really helps the viewer's eye kind of just get lost in the image and this could also make a great wallpaper at some point. <laughs> So I decided that there was a little bit too much blank space in the composition so I added in some really pale blue birds and I felt like these really helped tie everything together. Once I was happy with the placement of the birds I added a few more leaves here and there just to fill up the space a little bit more. <laughs> And then just like I did before, I'm going in and adding some contrast to the feathers on those light blue birds. And this time I'm using a dark purple color. And then I'm going in again with a lighter purple color just to tie the two together and create a little bit more depth and dimension once again. Once I finished, I'm just going to go in and add some detail all over the place just to tie everything together. So here I've added some little faces and beaks to the bird. And then I'm also going in and adding some darker colors to the leaves just to add a little bit more texture and depth. And then again, I'm going in and adding a few more flowers here. I'm adding some blue and then some yellow flowers just to kind of tie everything together and make it look polished. And finally, to finish off the painting, I'm just adding some darker shadows, some extra little layers to make it really pop. And from there, I am done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you painted along with me, please tag me over on Instagram if you'd like to post your painting. I would love to see it. As always, please subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.